Wasser heben und was sehen, haben wir Zeus. Und am Hitzer kann er rumgucken, Beine Wasser mit Fleisch gehen, was sehen die Fleisch und die Gaschmische bekommen dort. Wird man der Schrock, was tut er das in der Welt? Kann sich werden bei sich abhändig. Als wie hat man eine Hoffnung auf 15 mit der Welt und nicht machen will? Ich kann sagen, und die Frau bei lebendigen Menschen und die Frau bei ihnen, die tote Sache von Stehen auf demselben Ort. Und sie wird verleibt, da hat nicht mehr ein Heilung geheult, der Meinung bei Kedisch nicht mehr genug nimmt. Der Miet, was man da gerecht mit der Tag fahrte, wie gut, dass sie nicht gewähnt. Und auf jeden Fall, dass sie gewähnt, wie schlimm muss. I am so very proud to be able to sit here today and say that we came together as a community to host consistent, beautiful and special Friday night and Shabbos day services. We were very thoughtful in our approach and how to do it in a safe, socially distanced manner, but to get together in person, to come and sing and pray and read from the Torah and have l'chaims and kiddush together. It was so special being outside in a tent, in a different way, praying and singing with great gusto as we always do. When Dina started the Shabbos Kitchen at Chabad, I thought that a little kala on Friday nights might complete our sporadic observance of Shabbat. So I started riding my bike over to Chabad on Friday afternoons and bringing home a kala and other delicious dishes from Dina. Every Friday afternoon, we'd set up our candles, kiddush cup and kala, even if we were just having pizza, saying Kiddush and Motsi separated Friday nights from the rest of the nights. And it became a part of our family's weekly routine. It really broke up the week. We always knew that it was Shabbat when we would see a chala on the table with candles and a Kiddush cup. It turned our Friday night dinners into something different from the routine ones. And it made great French toast too. In addition, there's a new initiative where we've been um, preparing full meals for about 20 families for the holidays of Thanksgiving and Hanukkah. And those families who are really grateful to receive these packages free of charge have commented that it's been a really great thing for them. As a new mom, I knew I wanted my son Nathan to have the same feeling of Jewish connection and community. So when we moved to Westport during the pandemic, I turned to Chabad for some much needed mommy and me activities. We joined the music class and it exceeded all of our expectations. It was a great way to escape from COVID and meet other moms in a safe way. We really enjoyed the class and are looking forward to the twos program. As soon as we went into lockdown mode in the spring, the Hebrew school went to Zoom every week. The last day we played Kahoot as a family, which was fantastic. This fall has been amazing so far. The kids really enjoy going through their drive through that they have monthly so the kids can get their supplies for what they need. Whether it is a game board for game night or cooking supplies to make things like pumpkin pie, the kids are always excited to see what's in store for them. I'm even excited to see what's in the boxes. I'm in awe of how everyone at Chabad works together and is so creative in making the Hebrew school such a memorable experience. We really want to thank Chabad for all they've done during these unique times. Chabad party to you is painting rocks, doing s'mores, and doing challenges. And we're also doing stuff safely, like wearing masks and keeping distance. After such a difficult spring, Ganazi came through for all of us and delivered an amazing, creative, fun, and safe summer. And on the first day, they g gave us an amazing Coke and Mentos explosion, leaving us all asking for more. Hi, my name is Mia Baumbach, and just like it did for so many others, the coronavirus quarantine took away my sense of community. But then I joined Bat Mitzvah Club, and I was able to connect with so many other amazing Jewish women, and this sense was restored. 
In the Mott Mitzvah Club program, I feel accepted. I feel like I belong. And because of the fun and creative ways that Bat Mitzvah Club allows me to bond with other Jews, give back to my society, and learn what it means to be Jewish, I feel proud to be a Jew. Especially now during coronavirus, it's a great and safe way to see friends and reconnect with the community. It's also a place where we learn life lessons that we don't get taught anywhere else. When I do wear Musty, I love Chabad, and I really cherish any friend or individual that I've met at Bat Mitzvah Club because it's such an amazing program. Ever since I joined the Bat Mitzvah Club in sixth grade at Chabad, I always knew something special would be there. Now, as a member of the C team, I can say this is true. I have made so many lifetime friendships, and even during the troubling times of COVID-19, we've been able to stay connected and interact with each other. During these times when I can't see many of my friends, it's so nice to know that I have a group of people who are so much like me, who I can connect to, feel safe with, and always welcome with. This October, our son Samson became bar mitzvah in a beautiful service outside at the block. The weather was perfect, and thanks to the tutelage of Yehuda and Mendel, Samson did an amazing job. Two miracles in one day. What we really appreciate was how flexible the Chabad was with us. Everything was just easy and very pleasant. Samson's bar mitzvah was not the big event that we had envisioned, and certainly not the big party that he had been dreaming of. But in many ways, the service was more meaningful than we ever could have imagined. The weekly FaceTime lessons or lessons outside really gave Samson the opportunity to appreciate and connect with his Jewish heritage. And the intimate service outside really made the Chabad feel like a second home to all of us. And for that, we are very grateful. 